Welcome, Cassius Rifle TV in association with MTK Global in Edinburgh for Capital Collision. I'm joined by Michael Conlon. How are you? I'm a good man, how are you? Just want to show people your t shirt. Yeah, well, Lost Souls. Get yours now, lostsouls.com. This is a great t shirt. Lost Souls, yeah. if you're watching this video, I'm probably an XL, maybe a 2XL. Sported by myself, sported by Tony Bellew, you know, Valerida, Liverpool lads. It's a skills kind of thing, isn't it? I definitely like that t shirt, yeah. yeah. It's good. Good. Um, yeah, great, great win for you last yeah. time out in uh, Arizona. Happy so. with you. Eh? I was happy with it. Yeah, <laughs> talk me through it. You know, I'll be honest, I didn't feel I had a good camp or anything. I was going in there, I was like, fuck, I don't feel the best. I didn't, I didn't feel, uh, I didn't even feel as fit as what I should have been. Uh, maybe because I started camp a bit too heavy and I was just focusing on cutting weight, but if I went in, just kind of just when it kind of went in a bit careless, didn't care if it was power because he didn't have any. And you know, I was just looking for the big shot and I found it. It, it. it seems like not so long ago where you, you were making your debut and yeah. kind of, it seems to have gone quickly from this side. Has it gone quickly yeah. from your side? No, it's flew in from my side. Yeah. Now uh, we're f five feeds in come November or December and a year kind of since, almost a year since I uh, uh, had my first one. So. You know, it's it's going fast, but I'm happy with how it's going. You know what I mean? I, I prefer to be fit not uh, uh, often enough because I feel, you know, being stale kind of isn't what a young fighter needs. Mm. And like I said, you've been fighting all over America. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you like to fight uh, in Belfast Can't at some wait. point. Can't wait. I would love to fight on the November show, but uh, you know, Top Rank says it doesn't fit with the schedule and, and the ESPN because they want to have it on ESPN, but it's football season, American football season over mm. so you know, it's not going to be, not going to work out because it, it's going to be a daytime show. Uh, and, you know, they're looking at March, sorry, April, May next year, or sorry, May, June next year. But uh, whatever one suits me. But talking to your brother the other day, and you know, he said that yourself and Carl yeah. uh, and Jamie haven't fought together as professionals on, yeah. on a show, but th you know, that's going to happen now with Everyone kind Definitely. of under the same stable and... It's 100% that has to happen. Unbelievable. Like now, it just shows how, how big MT, MTK are and how much they're growing. You know, we have like Carl Frampton, you have GMA fighting for world title here. You have the shows which are going on in Belfast now. It's, it's unbelievable and I feel that, you know, it's just a matter of time before we're all on the same show. You must be over the moon that your brother's finally getting his world title shot against a very tough fighter as well. It's not, we watched them, I watched him live myself in... Uh, in Australia, and he's a, he's a class fighter, no doubt about it. Do I believe Jimmy can win? Yes. Uh, I've been working on a lot of stuff this week with him, and you know I feel it's a fight that will suit him more than any of the other champions uh, and any of the other opponents he's kind of faced. Because the guy's not a kind of guy that comes forward and, and just has a war. He is a boxer, so you know I think it'll be an, an, an ace boxing match as as it goes on, and it probably turn into a tear up knowing him, but. You know, ho hopefully we get that out of him. He just keeps the box and, uh, and wins the title. But I'm more happier for him winning the title and getting his title. Or sorry, getting his getting this title shot than I am for my whole career so far. You've been sparring your brother as well. Yeah. Uh, obviously ahead of this clash on November the 18th. So yeah. how do those spar goes? Because I'd I'd love to be, <laughs> be watching one of them and just. Nah, they used to be bad when we were younger, but now it's we're we're a team like you know and. He's my he's my mentor, kinda, and I, I have met every one of my fights, and he's one person that I, I like to have around me on fight week, in the in the ring, uh, in the corner. I, he's in the corner all the time now, uh, and in the change room, and you know he's someone who I look up to. So, you know it's it's different now. I don't have a kinda. He's my big brother. I got beat him up or anything. Way we used to be when we were younger, and he used to beat the shit out of me. But you know now it's just it's a, a team. We help each other work, and I think this week's born. You know, some it was actually meant to be like technical kind of sparring. It ended up just being sparring, but like talking, talking three wee bits, but mainly just sparring and working on things. Which you know, I was, I was very, very happy with it for him. Do you treat it differently to another spar? No, I, no. I, I would spar him like I would spar anybody else. I don't go. I don't, I and don't he, go, he would think the same as well. Definitely, but yeah. I don't know. He, sometimes he's 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 a bit too easy on me because he kind of look likes to look after me, but you know. Once I'm hitting him like I'm hitting someone else, he, he tries to hit me back and, you know, it's, it's, 
I, I, I don't, I don't want to go easy on him because it's probably an insult to, hell, insult to him if I go easy. And he, I think he would think the same. So, you know, that's that's where the sparring is going this week. And you know, there was a good, nice, a nice few shots thrown. And he's punching very hard at the minute, is all I'm going to say. Now, you, have you been added already to the yep. card, yes, yep. officially, for the Lomachenko Rigondo I'm, card? I'm unsure where it is in the card, but it's either a co-main event or else opening TV. But I'm just going to say it's co-main event. I mean, I, I want to be co-main event. And, but but the same I'll, venue where you made your debut. Same well. venue where I made yeah. the debut. And I, I sold it out also. So, you know, I think I'll have an awful lot of Irish support there. Uh, I don't know lot of interest too. So you it's know, a great it's, card to be on, though, isn't it? Listen, I, I grew up watching these guys in the amateurs, and, and and they're people I looked up to and aspired to be. Uh, now I'm fitting on the undercard of probably the for boxing fans the best fight there's ever really going to be. We have two Olympic champions, two team two two team champions actually, both fighting each other in the garden. It's special, like you know, I mean, the t- technical ability you're not going to get better opponents against each other. And we saw, I mean, someone put a tweet out the other day of their combined amateur record. It's absolutely Something phenomenal. I think it was like, um, like 400 or, or 500 and something to, and, and 15. 14 of those losses are, are Rugundos and one's Amachenko's like, so it's, it's unbelievable. Like. It's incredible. I, I think I was looking at, obviously they're putting it out of the theatre. Could they have gone with a bigger venue? I this? think so. I think so. That's, but I think they were looking for availability and there was a nice hockey game on, so... I think it could have went bigger, but you know, people are, aren't really sold on Rigondo, non-boxing fans anyway. Boxing fans already know how good he is. Uh, and they're both non-Americans. Mm. And Lomachenko doesn't speak good English. Either is Rigondo, he doesn't speak any English. So you know, I think for the general fans and the American fans, it would be a hard one to sell. And they probably were thinking, maybe it couldn't do the big one. But it could have definitely done a bigger venue. Definitely, yeah. Maybe not. 18,000 or whatever the big one is. Yeah, because within boxing, people know exactly what kind of fight that is, yeah. but it's kind of on the outside thing. It's not really like... Well, if you look at Mayweather McGregor, only done 14,000. Mm. I know they... Ticket sales. Ticket prices. sales. Yeah, ticket prices were quite high on that, but um, for, like I said, for a boxing fan, this yeah. is an absolute dream fight. So. I know one thing it was boxing fans buying tickets for that one. Mm. Event goers. Yeah, event goers. Um, let's talk about um, obviously Carl Frampton. Yeah, they had the press conference uh, last week to announce his move to BT Sport and yep. Box Nation, and obviously signing up with MTK. And uh, it's all different, all changed for Carl Frampton. It's changed for him, and I'm, I'm really, really happy for him. You know, it's it's a brilliant move, Bam. Uh, I'm happy he's got away from what he was in. I heard I've heard numerous of stories, so I don't really know which one's true. But you know, uh, unfortunately. Things have happened, and he's had to change change his team. And I don't think he could have picked a better team in in, in MTK. So you know, and also I think the team up with Frank Warren, Frank Frank already whoever you had went with, they would have both been able to you know do the right job. But I think Frank has come in with the the better offer for him. So I'm really really happy for him. It's good for the rest of the lads too because they'll all be on the shows and it'll be like a big family again. Absolutely, it's going to be a great night uh, on November the 18th. And like I said, MTK kind of. Uh, assembling the core of the <laughs> Irish talent at the moment, and uh, I don't think they're going to stop there. Nah, it's it's booming. Boxing, boxing in Ireland in general is booming, especially Belfast. And I think it's kind of. We t- I was talking about the other day with someone. It's like when you go around all the cities, like there's always like a city that has like a, a hot period. Like there's Liverpool, Glasgow, all different cities. Manchester. I think Belfast is having this turn now, and you know, it's probably maybe the golden age of, of, of pro boxing in Belfast because of the amateur system. This amateur system starting to pay off after all the amateurs who are turning pro. They're, they're making very good pros. So hopefully for you, 5-0 uh, by the end of the year. Yep, 5-0. Take that. Nice holiday at Christmas. Back in the garden again, St. Paddy's Day. Maybe Boston. Then probably back in Ireland. Um, there's another thing coming up which could change that one in Ireland and make it in August I'm not too sure so I'm not going to say anything on it but I think that's the plan next year the garden start the start next year it's a Paddy's day the garden Boston Belfast won't see uh, Paddy Barnes in action tonight I heard he's going to shadow box for someone so I'm hoping he, hoping he, <laughs> hoping he gets, gets this victory and gets a 
It's a good stop, isn't he? He'll be able to have some food tonight anyway. Definitely. I think uh, a few of the Irish boys who are fighting tomorrow night are not fighting tomorrow night now. Uh, Deco and um, Jono and yeah. Ian Tim. So, was yeah. Deco fighting tomorrow night as well? Was he, he was here? meant to be fighting tomorrow night, but there's been a few issues. And uh, yeah, that, yeah, listen, they'll be moved on to another show, so yeah. you know, yeah. it is what it is. I'm looking forward to that one. I see the rematch. Carol and Gary, absolutely. Yeah. I, would like to see, I would like to see the... A bit of bit of bad blood, and you know, like the there will be definitely. But I don't know they're both they're both friendly enough, and they were both friendly enough after after the fight last time, and you know I, I don't know I like the I like to see the bad blood, you know I think it's I think it's good for boxing. Well, listen, when they get round the table, you never know, so we'll have to wait and let's see. Let's see, let's see. Anything else you'd like to add, Michael? I'm not gonna say anything like Paddy says, so you know I'm, I'm okay. I'll, I'll, I don't know what I'll Paddy was going on about yesterday. He was going off on one of. It's hard to understand Paddy at the best of times, but when Paddy's it's having a rant, yeah. I heard he doesn't doesn't like managers and all this here stuff, or people to fuck people over and all that. But you know, he is what he is. He says what he says. I I prefer to listen, so and I'll just sit back and listen. Paddy will always be outspoken. Yeah. Michael Collin, thank you very much for talking yeah, to Eiffel TV, you. and uh, we'll catch up with Thanks you. Thanks for the shirt as well. Uh. When random shirt it on Instagram. Yeah. Fucking hell, I was like... Do you know what? A few people sat in there like, did you see his video? What's, what's this about? What have you done? I was like, I haven't Listen, done anything. I'm actually quickly going to tell you, right? I'm driving back, yeah? Yeah. And uh, I was just thinking, I thought of you and your brother. Listen, yeah. I wasn't listening to any love music. <laughs> <or anything. laughs> Don't worry about that. But I was thinking, do you know what? You, t you and your brother generally yeah. are. Since I met you outside the Europa when Frampton fought yeah. Martinez the first time. I thought, do you know what? They are genuinely... We've been on holiday in Jamaica recently. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Jamara or Jamaica? <laughs> Jamaica. Uh, Jamaica, yeah. Um, yeah, and I was thinking, do you know what? I'm actually... I'm going to just say how I'm feeling right yep. now. So I said that. But then the problem was... Everybody right, was like, why not me? <laughs> people were messaging me saying, you know, what about me? Uh, and it, and messaging me and texting me and ringing me. So I thought, all right, I'll tell you what, I'll go for a few more. And then literally, you, I did about... You just deluded it when you'd done that. I no, was I disgusted. Did, but you were the original did, one. See, when you, went, you said us, I was like, fucking right. And then I was like, and I love this guy, I love that guy. I was here, I was like, fuck's no, sake. No, I felt special for like two minutes. But the first minutes. one, the first one yeah. was, and it was about you and you and your brother specifically. But then afterwards, I then had to start thinking, then I just thought, you know what, stop. <laughs> Just stop before, you know, it'll uh, be forgotten about when the, once the Instagram story runs off. Yep. So, but it was dedicated to you. Appreciate it, Keith. No problem. Michael Collin, thank you very much for talking to us and we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers. All right.